What's up, everyone? So, the Masters are just around the corner. Starts on Friday. I'm quite looking forward to it, but I thought I'd do a video going over the Masters. And this is 10 things you probably didn't know about the Masters. So despite being the next tournament after the World Championships, it's like the first tournament where we see the newly crowned World Champion play darts. Uh, it's actually the least amount of prize money for any TV tournament over the course of the year. Uh, that doesn't include like the streaming ones, they're a little bit less, but as far as televised competitions go, there is the least amount of prize money in this one, with only 200,000. So, if you're looking to earn a lot of money, this isn't the tournament to do it in. Michael Van Gerwen has played in all seven Masters, and he's won five of them. So, Michael's percentage of winning the tournament is 71%, which is greater than anyone else's percentage. The closest is Phil Taylor with the uh, match play, which is like 66 or 67%. Um, but yeah, 71% success rate for Michael Van Gerwen, that's pretty high. The Masters is actually the only televised competition at the moment where the most successful country is not England and the reason for that is just Michael Van Gerwen. So Holland is actually the most successful country when it comes to the Masters and uh, yeah every other, com every other com competition um, over the years or over the coming year is actually all English so this is the only tournament where it's not English. Back in its beginning year in 2013, Phil Taylor won the Masters and uh, he only dropped seven legs during the whole competition. So no one's done that since, but I think if anyone could do it, probably Michael Van Gerwen. There's been a total of three 170 plus finishes in all of the Masters history. Two of them come from Van Gerwen and the other one was Raymond Van Barneveld. So they've all been Dutch. Michael Van Gerwen has the top four highest Masters averages. Uh, with averages of 112.49, 112.20, 111.14, and 110.28. And the fifth place goes to Gary Anderson, who had an average of 109.74. Despite playing in the competition five times already, Ian White has actually never got out of the first round. So he's played five, lost in the first round five times. And this year he's drawn Gary Anderson, so... It could be a tough one for him again. So the most 180s in a single tournament winner goes to Dave Chisnell for this tournament. He hit 33 180s back in 2006. And even though he is a big 180 hitter, this is only the second time he's ever had the most 180s in a tournament uh, for a whole for a whole competition. The last time he did it was uh, at the Players' Championship Finals. So the venue is the Marshall Arena in Milton Keynes. And this venue is actually the only venue that the PC have ever used for a floor Pro Tour event and also a televised event. So Michael Van Gerwen obviously has won this tournament a lot of times. He's actually earned £317,500 on this tournament alone, which is actually the combined amount earned from the people who are in positions 2, 3 and 4, which is James Wade, Phil Taylor and Raymond Van Barneveld. So he's earned as much as they have put together, which is pretty nutty. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This was the... 10 things that you might not have known about the Masters. If you want me to do this for all the other tournaments and stuff coming up throughout the year, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're brand new. That would be awesome. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. We're nearly there. We're getting there. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Goodbye.